This quarter brought to you by Motolite for express attendance service. Call 370-6686. Balik tayo sa laro, Makmoro going right back to work. That time though, he gets denied. That's how he started that first quarter. That's why he had 15 points. Also in the first quarter. Reed gets away inside, immediately cuts that lead down to two. You know, we talked about this, Anthony. The game nila, uh, in Inares, how do you try and stop Barak? You try to quicken the pace and uh, let Liam McMorrow trail para hindi siya masyadong makahabol pagdating dito sa depensa because it's definitely so difficult to shoot against kapag nakaposisyon siya. And it looks like they did find that formula and here they are once again. Bago siya makapwesto. They go to McMorrow. Swings it over. Intal. 4-3. Bang! Look at how unselfish in basketball itong Barack Bull. This three-point shot brought to you by PLDT Home TV Evolution turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. He rebounds, he blocks shots, he passes that basketball, but also fills the lane and then dishes it off. A nice JC block shot there. Talk about getting high up for, for a block shot. Yo, gets away. <laughs> you know, the defense of San Miguel really needing to help out dun sa mga small guys. Nitong Barakobol because they have been able to get to the basket. I'm talking about Joseph Yo, Chico Lanete. And even JC and Tal. 64 57. Kakao pisa palang natin dito. Ross inside. And daming points in the paint. Eh? Barakobol in that first half. They scored 59 points. 38 dun ng galing from the paint. Talk about really pounding it inside. Intal from the outside, short. Look at that, the smallest one of the smallest men. And I say that because Pascual is not really that small, but of course, with the crack inside oh, there. Oh, you look at Pardo, he's <laughs> big, Jake Pascual. And then si Macmoro. 66-59 is our tally. Ross again inside. I like how he's being aggressive, you know, whenever you see Chris Ross attacking that basket. Initially, hindi muna mag adjust yung defense eh. But once the defense will adjust now, then he can look out to give that ball up. 9.20. Remaining here in the third. Things have just begun. McMorrow. Boy, from the outside, taking it inside. And he gets the basket! Being creative itong si Liam McMorrow. We've never seen him do that. But you could see that he can dribble that basketball, keep his composure, and still make it 19 points para sa Barako Bull Import. Grabe. Showing us the entire package here today. A foul is going to be called on Pascual. Too much leaping. Dito kay AZ Reed. This attack move of the game brought to you by Holsim. Panata ka pag Holsim. Chris Ross nakakadami na, 10 points in the ball game. Nice pass and the Kraken gets away. And that's what I was talking about. That time, like, adjusting defense kay Chris Ross because he's aggressive. So, mayroon alam nilang titira siya. That time, humelp yung defense, giving it up to Drew Marfardo for the easy two. Lead, back down to five. Yo gets away. Lanete for three, yes! Three-point shot brought to you by PLDT Home Team Evolution. Turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. Mr. Mumabi Kaagad, Lassiter, picks up that board. Reed. And now Fajardo inside at Fala Itatawag. I like how Jumar Fajardo struggled in the first quarter with foul trouble, but now he still has that same intensity. He knows it's the third quarter. Look at Chico Lanetic saving that basketball and sacrificing. Usually, he's going to say body, but that time, sacrificing his head. He's going to feel that tomorrow morning, that's for sure. 
Pero again, balikan natin yung pinag-uusapan natin yung first half. Iyan yung mga effort na gustong-gusto makita talaga ng mga coaches. Yan ang inahanap mga coaches, yung extra effort. You know, you sacrifice all the aches and pains na pwede mong maramdaman. Look at this, McMorrow is going to be called for his third personal foul laban dito kay Chris Ross. At yung uh, dalawang foul, ha, ni Liam McMorrow, not really, kumbaga hindi sulit yung mga foul na tinatawag sa kanya. McMorrow, they're not happy with that call, but... I mean, alam mo, minsan yung konting tulak lang naman talaga sa malilit na mga gwardiya, eh, lilipad na yun, eh. Arwin Santos can't answer. Intal goes high for that rebound. Near Shio. Lenete nakapuesto na. Sabi ni Yo. Sandali lang. Yo finds McMorrow inside. Mike, kita mo si Joseph. Hinahanap niya talaga yung kanyang import. If he's not open or is able to attract the defense enough, he will give it up to his import. At the same time, McMorrow knows nobody can jump us. High as he can. Kahit hindi pumasok, sabi niya, basta malapit, okay na. Lenete with a steal. Lenete, still with the basketball. Pascual, will they get it finally to Yo? Sabi ni Tal, sa akin na to. Time down is seven seconds. Steps back, launches a three. Short, and now it ends up with Yo. Nice basket there by Joseph Yo. He's really picking his spots. Parang ang dali nung 19 points na yun para kay Joseph Yo. Yung walang pilit na tira. Hard to imagine he's got 19 already and kakaumpisa pa lang natin ng ating third quarter. And look at Joseph Yo is doing really. He's trying to sag down low to try to let the Chris Ross shoot that jumper. Here's Intal. Will he challenge? He challenges with a three. Masyado malakas. He was feeling it that time. Ross inside! Chris Ross is just really quick. So, may nakakailangan nasa harapan kanya to be able to try and prevent that basket. McMorrow takes a jumper from 15 feet. Very seldom do you see him take that jumper. No problem, ang ay pag hindi niya na buhay basket. No chance for an offensive rebound. What a block from Lanete! And look at the speed of Ross. But he gets denied. Boy, great defense here from both sides. And nobody found Intal. Intal. Nadulas yung bola. Oh, mukhang nadulas yung bola ngayon para kay JC and Tal. I thought that he was gonna go for that alley-oop slam, pero mukhang yung timing nila ni Joseph Yo hindi magkatugma. Five thirty remaining dito sa ating third. Lamang pa rin ang Barako Bull. Looking to extend it that time, but great defense by San Miguel. The Kraken inside. Basket in one. San Miguel attack the inside na nakaupo itong si Liam McMorrow trying to go to Junmar for hard He's not really all set up but he's the big guy now down low and they're trying to find Junmar for hard to let him get his points. Unorthodox yung paggawa ng puntos na yun, but he got the foul. At kitang kita mo na talaga yun ang strategy nila. The moment they saw McMorrow on the bench, let's go inside. Para mapilitan din na ibalik agad ni Coach Koy Banal. So Coach Koy continues to talk here to McMorrow saying, don't worry, we'll give you a few minutes. And Lanyete will buy even more minutes on that bench with that three. Lanyete now with 10 points in the ball game. That's huge para kay Dia uh, McMorrow and Barack Bull. But when the other guys are able to help out, to be able to extend your wrist, para meron kang pakitiin kung things sa fourth quarter. That's an excellent point. Ito, binitiin na sa loob ni Jun Marfajardo. Foul is going to be called on Intal. For this situation, it's a tough matchup as well. Para kay, uh, against Jun Marfajardo because Jun Mar is a lot heavier than Justin Chua. Back to the free throw line. That one rims out. Substitution round for this one. 
Papasok na ngayon si Tubid. Mapapahinga si Ross. Good on the second. That's going to bring San Miguel to within eight. Laniete did a three-point shot just a moment earlier. Goes to that fall away. In and out. Tubid. Nakawala sa ilalim. Hindi. Finds Lasseter. They're going to get an offensive board. Let's see if they try to go inside once again. Reed says, I'll do it myself. Once again, attacking the basket. Now that Liam McMorrow is sitting down, it's going to be a lot easier to get layups. 11 points as Rico Mayhofer gets ready to check in. They need his energy. On the outside, in Tao for three. Short. Nice rebound by Chua. Chua gets it to Intal. And now they got a brand new 24 to Milk. Oh, nobody watching Jake Pasquale. Just heads up basketball para kay Joseph Yo. Nahanap niya agad. That's just court awareness. Chalk up another assist for Yo. Another all around brilliant game para kay Joseph. And with that big play, it again allows Coach Koy Banal to rest Liam McMorrow a little bit more. Lead. Still at eight. These four guys to be able to try and run and use their quickness against San Miguel. Let's check it out with Sel. June Mar Fajardo will have to work extra hard to earn his points, lalo na inaasahan siya to box out and make monster rebounds. He doesn't have to score le he doesn't have to score a lot, sabi ni Coach Leo, pero kung magsabayan daw sila ni Liam McMorrow, dapat lang daw makunti niya ang import ng Barako. Anthony Dom. On the fast break, San Miguel trying to score, and there is June Mar Fajardo going to work. Without Liam McMorrow, being a little bit more aggressive, you can see Drew Mar Fajardo going inside. And that's what you want to be able to notice and uh, realize your situations in the basketball game. Kung ano nangyayari, ano pinibigay sa'yo, ano pwede mong gawin. And still no McMorrow, so baka fourth quarter na siya ipapasok. Now that will definitely be the advantage of Barako Bull kung magagawa nila yun. Yo, with the jumper offline. Mayhofer is going to be called for a push. That was clear. And you don't want that if you're uh, Barack Kubo. You don't want to be giving up those types of fouls, especially you are in the penalty. And that's why we're going to walk to the other side of the court. Three out of seven so far. I don't see June Mar from the free throw line. Three out of eight. For the big man. Coming from a 2020 game, huh? Yep. See June Marfajardo, sixth in his career. Another turnover here for Sabaraco. Chance here for San Miguel to get even closer. You gotta love that. Leading the fast break, your number four and number five guy mo. Your power forward and your center. I'll you from the power forward to the center. How do you stop that? <laughs> Either way, they knew they were gonna get the basket. Chua gets fouled. Oh, those are the plays again. You know, mukhang uh, kung nakashoot ulit ang, uh, or hindi nakashoot ang Barako Bull doon, baka mapilitan na si Coach Koy Panal na ibalik, ibalik si Liam McMorrow. But because Justin Chua got fouled, Mag-iisip ulit si Coach Koy. Chua makes the first. Nanyati magpapahinga. Garcia comes in. Two for two for the big man for Barako. Establishing another five-point edge. Will they try to go inside once again? Why not? Junmar feels he can take Chua. And he showed everybody. That was like slicing through. 
Drew Mark Fajardo definitely has the moves. Yes, the most, you know. for sure. No, when I played the thing in the CPBA, you know, he was just big. But you move, yeah, you can see that he's got that agility and also that Gila stint for Drew Mark definitely helped him get a lot quicker. Chai's confidence level, talagang sky high. Reed gets fouled. If you notice, ever since the point of Sylvia Macmorro, halos lahat ng puntos ng San Miguel nang galing din sa loob. Ina-attake niya lang basket. They're getting fouled. And also, one thing for San Miguel in this quarter, only one team foul. Witness hard hitting MMA action in BXC 48. Bakpakang Ronaldo, Gabriel V, and Kyle Aguon para sa Bantam Way title. June 13, 8 p.m. sa Inares Sports Center. Mapapanood niyo naman yan on TV5, June 14, 11 ng gabi. Buy your tickets now. Isa na lang ang lamang ng Barako. And the big man, McMorrow, back in the ballgame. Ababu. He's been silenced here. Not his usual explosive self. Getting away is Garcia. Well, R. R. Garcia definitely known to be able to get to the basket. See, he's, he's so shifty, he's able to break down the defender. on the other side. Let's check in with Cell. We're experiencing some technical difficulties. We'll get back there in a little bit. Again, nakawala si Garcia. You know, we were talking about the small guys of Barack will able to get to the basket, get layups. Once again, Barack will continuing to get those points. Kapag not stopping, popping and hitting. Under a minute remaining, go ahead. The inspiration of Alex Kabagnot. Kaya nga napatayo siya rin eh. Shot clock. At eight. Looking for Mayhofer. Lost track of that basketball. Here comes San Miguel. Looking for the lead. It's been a while. Reed. Thinks he can take on Mayhofer. They kick it out. Lux, no. Espinas will try to barrel. Well, Espinas really trying to challenge Itong si Liam McMorrow. Getting the foul. That could be... Actually, the foul is on JC and Tal. For a while there, and that would have been a big fish. Para kay Gabby Espinas. Espinas having a few words for Liam McMorrow. And he continues to talk to him. Okay, lalo naman natin si Gabby Espinas. Now, will he not back down? At sabi naman ni McMorrow, wag mo na akong kausapin. Hindi ka naman makakapasok ng free throw mo eh. Napalapakan to siya. Napalapakan siya tuloy. Misses both. But an offensive rebound here by San Miguel. Wow. Ang gandang bunot yun para kay Umulon. Rico Meyerhofer not able to box out. That's why Coach Koy Banal running after Rico Meyerhofer. San Miguel now with the lead. McMorrow with a jumper. Sado malakas. And after three quarters of play, Lamang na. Ang San Miguel Beer, they were down at one point at 76, 75 to 64. And let's take a look at the Kraken. Iba klaseng kanyang ginawa rito. 14 points in the third quarter para kay Jude Mar Fajardo. Eight out of eight from the field. Hindi niya ginawa ito mag-isa. He worked hard. He got offensive rebounds, but also his teammates getting him that basketball to make it a lot easier for the Beermen.